Okay, okay, I heard you. Jeez, you guys just won't leave me alone. You want me to fix it? <laughs> I said it's not fixable, I said it's not worth my time, I said I don't want to, but you guys want me to, so I'm going to fix it, kind of. Mostly because I turned it over, I'm, I'm looking at it and saying, well, what possible thing could I do to fix it? What would make it look good? Well, guess what? It looks pretty good by itself. Look at there. What do we have? A baby unicorn. His little horn hasn't grown out there far enough yet, but baby unicorn right there. I'm not going to, and he's got a blue eye today too, see that? blue eye unicorn i'm not entirely certain what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna fix it i'm gonna make it better how's that i'm gonna i'm gonna remount it and sand all this in here and see what we have see what it looks like the problem is that hole see how close it is to the edge here this is where my chuck jaws grab they go inside of this opening and they spread out and that's how it is held on the chuck but see how close it is to this chuck jaw right here really close so i thought i might make a perfect hole and we could call it a perfect bowl with a perfect hole but i'm not so sure i can make that hole perfect i kind of think i can't uh, now if it was going to be a unicorn maybe it doesn't need to be perfect maybe you don't want a perfectly round hole because that looks pretty good that blue-eyed unicorn that looks pretty good and then i can i could put a hole in here and just hang it on the wall or something but i don't know i don't know i'm, I'm gonna mess with it mostly it was tuffy margina's he sent me an email and he said, you know what, Phil, that was a fun video and you should, you should use it. Make, it, make it be something, have fun with it. Tuffy's all about fun. He's just all about fun. He's uh, not quite as old as I am, but he's getting up there and he understands that we need to make the best use of our time while we have time and fun is the way he likes to spend that time. So we're going to have fun with it. We're gonna do something, I don't know. Let me get it remounted and we'll at least sand and, and maybe make that hole perfect, maybe not, I don't know. So we have our dovetail recess and we have dovetail jaws on the chuck. I'm just gonna place that on there and open the jaws into that dovetail recess and we'll get a good hold. Now the problem is I can't apply a lot of pressure because this wood is just gonna give way. It's just it's just crummy wood so we're not going to have a lot of pressure on there but we're also not going to be turning at a thousand rpm and we're not going to be turning we're only going to be sanding so there won't be much pressure on that hole good morning good afternoon good evening or as we like to say here at shady acres wood shop howdy let's get started got the lathe spinning at about 310 rpm I'm starting at 80 grit I'll work up through 400 I'll bring you back here in a bit if there's anything to bring you back to and we'll put some finish on there or sanding sealer see you in a bit this is so unlike me I don't I don't even know how to proceed exactly but Tuffy said have fun with it have fun okay does that look like fun do you think I can make this look like that not really but I can get the gist of it I think now this this is what I thought looked like a unicorn was the finished side but now that I see this side I think that's more plus I, I can decorate it I can't uh, I don't I don't think the the colors will stick to the finished part here so I'm gonna go on the bare side and I left the eye the way it is rather than a nice round eye I just think it looks more natural so we'll see how that goes I, I don't have a clue about how to proceed I'm just I'm not an artist more importantly I don't have a steady hand I don't know what colors blend well I see the colors here I, I'm not gonna do I'm I'm not gonna do all of this but I'll do the eye and I'll do the whoops I'll do the nose I'll try and do an ear kind of a thing. I might do something with his horn there. This looks pretty good. I, I don't think I can make him look, the other one, look like this. But, but 
I'll have fun, okay? <laughs> Tuffy said so, so I, I have to do it. Uh, I don't know that I can get you in any kind of position to see what I'm doing exactly, because I need to stand where you are standing, sitting, to do my work, unless I stand over to the side, but then you'll be looking sideways at it. We'll see how that works, I don't know. So here he has a black eye, but I like the idea of a blue eye, so I'm gonna outline that eye portion in blue. And then I'll outline this blue in black. This looks like black. These markers have uh, two tips. One's a brush tip and the other's a felt tip. I'm going to use the felt tip for the outline. I probably should put some glasses on. Can you hear the rain? Raining hard today. Yesterday, Thanksgiving was beautiful. I know there's a lot of artists out there. Don't giggle at me, I'm not an artist. You know, these, these colors really should go, they should start somewhere rather than here. I guess they come up, maybe I should be going clear up there, huh? I guess I should. Okay. They go behind his ear, but he doesn't have an ear, she. Doesn't have here. I'll go there. I need to come back with that pink, which you can't even see anymore because of the red. And then the green. And I don't have all the room they had there, so I'm going to start with uh, a dark blue now. I guess it's I guess it's purple. Purple. I'm gonna put a purple in here. There's a crack in the wood right there that's not taking the color very well. Okay. And then what do we got? And we got a more of a, a darker pink or purple or something. I'm not doing this very well, am I? Of course, now I just noticed all of them have a black line in between them. That's going to be a little tricky. That does help, though. Okay, and oh, her nose, her, is pinkish. Yeah, it's just kind of a mess up here, isn't it?
It's just a mess. Now, I told you, I told you I'm not an artist. And I think you have to be. So I'm just going to fill this in with some colors. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. I'm sure you've fallen asleep by now. Another black line and then I'm going to put yellow to fill in there. Alright, well, whatever it is, there it is, this just, this just comes to an end and that's just no good, is it? It just comes to an end. So what used to look like a unicorn now looks like this. It just looks like a mess, doesn't it? I'm gonna see what my great granddaughter thinks it looks like. She's three, she'll probably appreciate it. It is what it is. I don't know what else I can do. What I'm missing here, maybe, maybe an eyebrow. This one doesn't really have an eyebrow, but maybe it needs an eyebrow. Have fun with it, right, Tuffy? I guess I'll outline this horn. Well, this just isn't that shape, that's all. Not the same shape, but what do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna spray. <laughs> I'm going to spray uh, clear gloss polyurethane over this mess. We'll take a look at it to see if that helps. I don't expect it to. I'm just smoothing out the final coat of this uh, spray on polyurethane. When I finish with the gray pad, I'll switch to a white pad to get it really super smooth. I, I do this between coats when I use uh, shellac as well. I always use a gray one between all coats of shellac. And then after the final coat, I use a white one. On this, there was a couple of little nibs on there, so I thought I'd start with a gray one and then, and then go to the white one. So I'll get this finished up and we'll take a look at this in just a minute. So many of you wanted me to finish this piece and I just didn't want to do that because the wood to me just wasn't worth the effort and I still couldn't get it to sand up as smoothly as I'd like but it is smooth now and Tuffy said have fun with it Phil have fun with it make it a fun project so that's what I did <laughs> I have to say I didn't have that much fun because I just don't have an artistic bone in my body. I just don't. I just don't. I don't know what colors go together. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. I can't imagine what something should look like except a bowl when I'm turning my normal turnings with natural wood, that sort of thing. I can imagine that. I can't imagine fine artistic ability. I, I, I don't get it. I think you're born with it and I don't think you uh, develop it. That's just my personal opinion. Anyway, 
but so many of you wanted me to do something with it so I did something with it. Now when I picked it up and took a look at it a second time I saw this unicorn. Looks like a unicorn to me. No color. There's this little baby horn. It's a baby unicorn. Here's his nose down here, clear as a bell. There's his eye, nice blue eye, see that? Looks like a unicorn. But I already had a bowl in it, so I went ahead and sanded it up, and then that's when it occurred to me that maybe I'll see what a unicorn picture looks like on the internet. So I looked it up, and I found a colorful one, and this is what we have, a colorful unicorn. So I guess that's fun. I showed it to my daughter. She said my great-granddaughter would love it. Because of the dovetail recess, because that's a dovetail, I've shown this before in other videos, or one other video, you can take a flathead screw like that, screw that in the wall, and that flat head will mesh with the dovetail and it'll hold it so you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to drill a hole in here to hang it. You don't have to stick anything on there. It'll just hang it'll just hang like that. So that's a good way to hang it. A lot of you also wanted me to turn this into a clock. I love clocks. Clocks are my thing. I have a lot of them. I hate daylight savings time. <laughs> but if I was going to make a clock, I'd make a clock. I wouldn't turn something else into a clock. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just not me. So I gotta do me. So I saw the unicorn and I painted the unicorn. Now I know, I know the painting is awful. I know that. There you go. A fun unicorn. Yay! Tuffy, now shut up and quit bothering me about it. If you like this video, thumbs up please. I'd sure appreciate it. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. If you're not a subscriber, you might consider becoming one. I put out regular videos about one a week and I'd like to keep in touch. An easy way to subscribe is just click my picture you see there near the end of the video. Your comments are always welcome and I love reading them. So for now, this is Phil, Shady Acres Woodshop, signing off.